What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. Let's round off what happened last time. Uh, following our encirclement of the Swedish Empire, they have abandoned the Western Front and we are pouring our troops in and we're starting off this episode with an assault on the city of Cologne. You can see they do have improved settlement fortifications, so it's going to be a bit of a big one. Um, they got a lot of cavalry, they got some riflemen, but it's nothing our men shouldn't be able to handle. And that's probably worst come to the worst. Just switch some of these fellas around to be a bit more useful. There we go. But let's go take them out. So right now we are pushing on many, many fronts. Oh, sorry, my microphone tipped over there. There we go. So yeah, we are pushing on many fronts. And there's not really a whole lot that uh, Sweden can do about it. There's a chance that we might get screwed over from an attack from either Russia or the Ottoman Empire. But I think we are going to slam the door shut so hard on the, uh, the Swedes that they're not going to... That it's going to not really be a problem. So we've got a Paris pattern army. So let's probably put them here. So that way I can easily make two breaches in the walls. Let's put our guards and our marines and our best infantry. Actually, I probably want two units to go in each breach. Can I hide them all in this little clump of trees? Generally. Okay, let's just save time and put them all back here. Good. They're all hidden. So then I've got two units that can cover each breach. They can each get a unit of cavalry to help them out. And then we're probably going to put some pikes on the left. Unlimber the howitzers. Get them all to focus on that section of the wall first, considering that's where the bulk of their troops are placed. A lot of artillery going in. The heavy horse artillery haven't engaged, but they are under fire. Classic Empire. Give them orders and they don't move. At least I haven't lost any gun teams from their delay. We've got some riflemen out front. What the hell happened here? They're 12 pounders engaging our... They are. Very clever. Soon we'll have a hole, we'll have a breach and then it won't be as much of a problem. Let's actually get them to target some of these units behind the wall and then probably get one of them to start taking pot shots towards the center so that's a volley of artillery's gone in a surprising amount of damage so yeah one of our artillery units were focus on obviously they've not picked their new targets yet so one unit to focus on this cluster here not these riflemen that are already Depleted, well, <laughs> retreating. There's a bunch of men from the fire step collapsing. Let us keep engaging. So, what I would like my howitzers to listen and start to hit this big clump of infantry right here because that would be a lovely target. No, the howitzers seem destined to not want to shoot what I'm aiming at. Okay, there we go. So then now they can work on this section of the wall. 
probably speed up time still. It looks like they are determined to... Okay, now they're aiming at one of them aimed at that particular garrison guard unit, which isn't... Okay, let's check my howitzers. Okay, we might have to actually just... Go. Because we've got a lot of men. Well, that, that, their artillery is actually doing some good damage. Some Swiss Grenadiers up on this outer section. Okay, the unit of Swiss Guards up on the wall. Get another unit of Swiss Guards in to cover. These four units get to work on pushing on this front. My men guarding the lot, guarding the howitzers push up in case they are the target. More often than not, it's probably the pikes. The AI really does not like pikemen. And my field artillery isn't doing what I want them to do. Okay, they opened up. You're being buggy. Okay, now they're doing it. Okay. I want the unit of line infantry to hold here to block any incoming cavalry that come charging out of the gatehouse. are engaging again funny targets generally funny targets let's get you near foot infantry to scale the wall get our grenadiers up front our other infantry can follow critically fire at will off See if we fire will off and on if I can get these guys, this this bugged gun to work. Sadly not. It looks like their cavalry is going to be deployed. They are going to start dropping quick lime on me. I thought it would feel like they're going to miss. Good, our oh, quick lime's actually starting to land where we want it to land. Going to make our second breach. Come on, you guys, climb to the top of the ladder. Okay, these guys have gone gone really funky. They've decided to sit there rather than actually go to the ropes to climb up. Yeah, these gates are going to be ours, me old mucker. These men, these Swiss Grenadiers, charge across the footbridge and try and take the gatehouse from here. So these guys don't really have an option to do anything else except kind of run around. So we've made a breach on this flank. 
Bring this regiment of horse up. We've taken another gatehouse. These men are trying to climb down the ladder. For some horrible, weird reason. out of square get you men in the front entrance so the objective when you're trying to push troops through is you want to cut we want there to be a gap you want there to be room to deploy your men outside of immediately getting stuck in the front door and we may still get stuck in the front door See my grand is to clear the militia. I've got these men to run into the into the gatehouse or into the, the courtyard, but I suspect what I'll likely end up having them do is run into square formations. Because we know this is just a meat grinder when you get into this kind of stuff. That's why I want these men to get up on the walls and they can fire down. These units always take some time to get through. But if I set them in to try and deploy into square once they get inside the gate, maybe they'll have... They'll be lucky. Our cavalry needs to push away. And take advantage of being broken out. There you go. As these men run, run into squares, then this Grenadier Guard unit should fall very quickly. If I get these guys to try and attack this unit, some of them will run around here and into the gate, which I don't want. I want them to take position up on the gate, which it looks like they're not going to do because they are bugged. Because if they were up here, they could fire down onto the regiment of cavalry down here, which would be great. These hussars are wavering. Both my units deploy in squares, and then you'll just eat that cavalry unit alive. Let's try and push a unit into the breach here. Let's push my pikemen in, because now this area is sufficiently uh, clear. There's now enough men here to outnumber the horses to just run past the hussars these men too could probably deploy down here as could you guys potentially these guys are bugged anyway so there's always going to be a issue charge my pikemen into the front gate and with howitzers start firing round shot and dropping them on the centre. These men can attack the riflemen and they'll bust this flank open. You men drop into square as well. So my pikemen are going to clear the way. They're going to do away with this last line infantryman, but they always, when they're fighting in the breach like that, they always seem to hang out rather well. Push on this front here, you guys also push in. The cavalry is going to rout, but probably at fair cost. Get these men just to charge straight into the guns. These guys end up having to both fight the militia. There goes that cavalry unit. You start to charge them. You guys continue to attack this cavalry unit. You guys get ready to be charged by those men. 
Do both of you attack the rifles, just get rid of them. Okay, you guys charge in. There's a regiment of horse over there, but there's not a lot I can do about it, except maybe charge in these pikemen. Get this infantry unit back here to fight this unit of militia, otherwise they'll never let my pikes get out of there. You get over here and help out my grenadiers. These men are more than adequate to clear out the artillery. There you go, these riflemen have been cleared out. Let's bring more infantry to bear. Pikes in against the regiment of horse, that'll be grand. You guys both charge the line, the fifth foot guards, before they have a chance to commit and join the fight. You men all charge these 12 pounders. This unit may as well charge up against the militia. The pikemen should be clearing the militia out fairly well. These are Swiss pikemen, so they are armoured. They've actually got the Palace Guard uh, unit card there. Pretty neat. These men are finally one atop the wall. The guards, the, the uh, line infantry guards, are always going to do well because they are. You know, guard infantry. How is it still firing? So let's stop there. Come on, all of you guys attack the regiment of horse. There, they're right there. Putting you, pikes. Take them out. You guys run over here and act as a reserve. Okay, see, the line infantry guards, they do hang around. And they're no slouches. We've got our grenadier guards in there. Are oh, they broken? Yep, there they go. Sweet. This has been a bit of a bit of a bloody fight. But this is why you attack with reinforcements, so that your army can lick its wounds in safety in the, in the uh, sat in its castle, sat in its fortifications. Okay, let's demolish this modern, modern university. That will probably be enough. No, not entirely enough. Let's rebuild the palace. Let's replenish my men. You were laying siege to Hanover. You're marching up. It would be, it would be really neat if I could get up and cover this bridge. I mean, goddamn, we are. We're attacking everywhere apart from their last territory down here, which we might. Well, once we've won up here, some armies will move south, ready to invade Sardinia. But the bulk of them will probably be enough to do battle. I'm thinking of things like this Cologne army could probably move south, so can this Amsterdam army, they can also move south. Let's should try and demand the surrender of Hanover. Nope, they have not. They have not complied. So we're going to continue with our west to east uh, set of missions. But soon. Sweden will be no more. Fairly soon. We will have to destroy their armies in the field in Europe because we can't eliminate the faction quickly enough by attacking Sardinia. Okay, these men... Oh, that's probably a bit of a... Okay, these infantry can hang back as a last-ditch reserve. Let's create two flanks. Let's 
but I should probably split my Swiss Grenadiers up between the flanks. And my Marines. My Marines can go on the right. My cavalry can be paired up. This is the first application of Lancer Guards we've seen in the campaign. So let's have a look at the Lancers. First Lancers. I'm not a massive fan of Lancers because I do prefer cavalry that can continue to engage after the charge has been done. Yeah, understandably they've deployed right at the back. So let's deploy one unit of line can push up like so with some cavalry support. My left hand line probably deploy up more like that. Probably with my cavalry being a bit more aggressive. My howitzers limber up, push over to the right to provide some artillery support, and my general can also go over onto the right. And then let's speed up time, just because I'm walking my men. Although it looks like they are determined to kind of hang around towards the rear of the, the map. Oh yeah, push up my reserve. Garrison militia coming close. Okay, the right flank of my position can instead go up to here and they can run because right now they're not pushing this flank at all. My howitzers, they're going to be in a good position. I don't quite know what they're intending to do. Let's run my left wing up, because I've got impatient. They look like, yeah, they are going to engage my cavalry, so let's... Let's retreat them. Push some men up to the house immediately. Challenge them. Looks like this unit of line infantry has responded. The howitzers on limber. Oh, they're only just within round shot range. Well, the 89th and the 91st can engage the militia. Although it actually looks like they don't really want... They want... They really want my cavalry. So let's pull them back. Push up right into the militia's face. Here is the Swedish line. It's, oh, it's. Artillery's coming in. The round shot's coming in. They chose a bad time to redisplace. Or to, uh, you know, change their formation. Let's pull my cavalry back. I definitely. I pretty much do just want them to engage my line. And Nadja's to it. You all charge. Cavalry push. So they're all engaging the militia, so they've not that militia's not got a good shot. The cavalry's pulling back. This infantry probably do something like this. Infantry move out. Okay, let's get this cuirassier unit to intercept their general. My lancers come around, charge into the rear of the seventh. And I'm getting sound thingies again. But here come the lancers, looking glorious with their lance points down. That will probably break. Did. 
continue to engage. Push my men around the flank. I, mean, I know it's annoying, I get these sound bugs, but honestly I've tried a whole bunch of different things and I have no clue what's going on. Let's pick everyone except my cavalry, run them up to the line, the general's routing. So let's get my cuirassiers in, get my lancers in. You got there, general. Deploy the cavalry. Let's crash into the rear. Yeah, they've been broken. Let's hold fire. There we go. As we're getting sound problems, let's just break them. There we go. Reckless with cavalry. But goddamn, cavalry is awesome. No need to continue the engagement. Because we do have... We are attacking Cologne. So the city is ours for loss of 185 men. They may... Attempt to drive south and take it back. Oh, come on, I was pressing the wrong button. There we go. They may attempt to come south to hit the territory here. Let's get my spy to try and take over, take out their general. Balder Goodmanson. No, he didn't get him. That's why I want this, that's why I would like this army to push up quickly to try and take position on the bridge. It's also... Okay, run you guys up as well. Actually, well, I was going to say, could this army take take the garrison of the Netherlands? If I move these guys out, can you guys hop in? Minus 34? No, definitely not. They really don't like you. I mean, we, are, we do need to repair some of our buildings still, so it's not over. Now technically, well, I was going to say technically Berlin is east, further east of Dresden, but we are specifically attacking Dresden. We are specifically attacking Berlin with less than a full stack in order to prevent them from coming to the rescue of Dresden. So let's go and take them out. To be honest, even with their reinforcements, uh, no. I'm not going to rush in to try and to try and uh, take the city. But my assaulting troops may actually first try and intercept their reinforcements before they join the field. Could be quite an interesting, uh, interesting battle while my main forces, or my main, well, my, my artillery mainly, uh, softens up the garrison. We've got to bear in mind though that we're going to be running short on cash. So even though I've got Berlin under siege, I'll likely have to hold because I won't be able to take the city and replenish it with enough strength. Okay, focus on a single breach. Got a lot of howitzers, which is great. Deploy them as far up as we can get. So these are the men we need for a breach, although I'm not going to try and deploy them too far out. Although it is tempting to uh, limit the assault force to something like this. And instead deploy another two units of infantry back here in case we get screwed over on deployment. Because that is a classic Empire move. Even though they should be coming in the far side of the town. Doable. Run my men over. Might be able to intercept them. So the field artillery. Focus on making your breach. My guns are suffering from some attrition. They're quick climbing the bejesus out of the center. Or instead, I want them to focus on. Okay, maybe they ought to focus on the shelling the bejesus out of the center. But on these guys to run up and threaten their reinforcements. 
deploy into line here. Because it looks like we are going to entice their cavalry into deploy at least. up with wave in waves to threaten their reinforcements these two squares will be enough to hold them okay, maybe not as aggressive as I thought push these units up and then as we break their cavalry Make sure our. There we go. No, stay in square. Stay in square so our overlapping fire can protect you. I mean, you men pivot to face the Royal Crassier guards. No, deploy into square again, but you're about to get hit by the provincial cavalry. Good, you're hitting the right people. Good. Come on, infantry. Come and join the fight. They're shooting with their pistols. They're horse guards and they're sat there going, ho ho! Pap! Pap pap! Pew pew pew! The militia is running. Okay, push up these men. Because the cavalry is committed. To charge these two squares. means these men advance up to hit them in the flank. There we go, you devils. Sort of thin them out a bit. By the looks of it, it's not going to stop them from getting in. But it is going to do a lot of damage. The militia are charging. Cassia guards are coming in again. So let's try and run these men over towards here. Or maybe just over here for now, just so they don't run through our line. Good, the cavalry are gone. It looks like they are determined to just ignore us and run into the city. If we can break this militia, that would be good. Turn off more than we can verbally chew. Get these men charged to go hit the this line infantry in this combo over here. 
my inventory should be doing okay against the Fusiliers. Very well, the Grenadiers are abandoning the combat over here. In which case then, run these four infantry units up behind the Swedish positions. Charge them in the flank. It's the militia that's broken. It's not entirely a surprising thing. Yeah. The Grenadier Guards are going to make it into the city. It's not, that itself isn't a huge problem. We want to roll up the flank. This infantry on the edge is particularly, particularly vulnerable. That's why I'd probably like you guys to run straight into that unit of superior line. You guys can also go over there and help. The 56th can be the ones to go. Okay, that's definitely not the right unit, but whatever. But get over here to support the attacks into the rear of the line. This line infantry we've got surrounded. There we go. Push these men into the combat. I feel that hasn't done a single thing to try and help break down the wall. Do I have to babysit my artillery to do anything? Jesus, God. Even then, they've not shot it. The right thing. Surround, engulf, and destroy. First the Fusiliers, then the Lion Infantry. And they're still not firing at the right target. Focus on the fort wall. Come on. Finally. So all my infantry back here, they are sufficiently damaged prior to the fight, but they can push in. My infantry back here... Ah! Cavalry? Where did they come from? Oh well. Push in the men! What's this? General's bodyguards? <laughs> yeah, they're already gone. They may have upset my howitzers, but I've still got howitzer crews. Come on, howitzer men. My infantry can push it up. Howitzer crews man their guns. And again, all of them just sit and fire well. Hey, the general bodyguard fancy to go. So those Grand Day Guards might be a bit of a danger. At least they didn't get around to attacking my... Hey, all of you guys, drop into square. In comes the pikes. Hussars have stood the test of time. One of my howitzers is still focusing on that same damn mortar battalion. As far as I suspect, they all probably are. There we go. They're shattered. The general's been killed. Get these guys out of square formation. Back into 
the line. The old artillery's probably stopped shooting again. It has. It's probably another reason why I'm going to have to sit here and just fast forward time when it comes to making breaches because I can't trust my artillery to actually do what is expected of it. We want to try and abandon the... We want to try and abandon the uh, fight near... The fight over here. Although we're probably not going to have much choice. So let's spread out. So they can't attack any one... The Grenadier Guards can't attack any one area stop at least some of my men from getting into the getting into position. Come on, there we go. Okay, let's speed up time. Chief is I can't trust my artillery to do stuff. The grenadiers are getting into position. My men are starting to climb the walls. So much so, this unit can actually just pour straight through. Both these guys, I've got them earmarked to go charge the... Uh, go charge the mortars. And if these guys can ever make a breach... So want these men just, just to maximise their footprint on the walls. Come on, this building should be ours. No one else on there but us glorious Italians. Charge these men into a central square, really, I suppose. The Grenadier Guards are determined to not... not do their job. We can get you guys... If we can get these guys into the city, we can then form a quite a nice little uh, defence. So let's form these guys up into a firing position. Same with these fusiliers. Not fusiliers, marines. They're sending light infantry to try and take us out. Kill the, kill the last mortar guy. Hang out here. You men hit that mortar carrier. Or mortar crewman. You guys still firing? And they're just about reloaded. Which means this wall may collapse at this breach. Unfortunately, the Grenadiers seem to not want to waste their time trying to defend the city. So 
The Swiss Guard's doing okay. Everyone else can just charge in. You guys hit that unit of militia, you men push over onto the right to cover the breach. Or to cover the, uh, the square. It's just to make sure they don't get to the central point. Great ideas they got in, they're just happy to uh, hanker, hunker down and be a frustration. This regiment of line can also charge the militia. Gunning down the light infantry that tries, that's trying to stand against us. The 9th regiment of militia is also hankering for a... <laughs> Good, these great ideas did not do much at all. Especially after a bloodbath to actually get into the city, it seems a bit of a stop firing. I'll just get yours charged, the ninth. Because the game is oh the game. The battle is over. And that is three Swedish cities secured in one turn. Secured in one episode. Obviously they hate us. So let's try and get rid of the classical university. First of all, replenish the troops. Because this, that army may actually attempt a counter attack. It's a colonial line. Okay, let's. Combine the line, that's a very elite regiment we've got forming up there. I might just dis well this colonial line it's it's providing some uh, some experienced men. You guys push up to Dresden, you guys can then also recruit three more and a garrison. It's not a great garrison. Those guys are still like their chances when they try and attack. Um, let's see, Flanders, you're actually upset. Okay, let's exempt you from tax to try and get that dealt with quicker. Pretty good force being raised in London. So we've got. Finland. It looks like Russia definitely does want to attack us. But the question is, if they do, well, if they wait too long, we will be too strong. Which I'm not. Which is I'm not going to be. I'm not going to complain about. So Verona, I got hit. Utrecht being demolished. Marburg being demolished. Leipzig being demolished. Okay. So let's see how the AI responds to this turn. I suspect we will get side in Berlin, and if we do, we will retreat. Because I do not want to... Uh, I don't know, if they sally, I might defend, because we've got both those armies in roughly the same place. Not some scholars are still skulking around for our secrets. You just know Russia and, Russia and the Ottomans, they are preparing for war against us. They just are. There's no way they're, they're letting us get away with dismantling Europe's foremost power for free. question is, where will the hammer fall? Sweden, by the looks of it. Looks like their armies are destined to try and do frustration tactics. We are not going to intercept, because I want this army to get some replenishment done, if possible. Happy to let them raid. Oh, and they've actually 
sieged us. Okay. The objective of this force under Alessio uh, Langrangia Langgran is to do as much damage as possible. We might not win against such numbers. But if we can do a lot of damage, it will neuter this force, this force here, in the uh, in the steam, yeah, the steam pumped ironworks, and another army somewhere off screen. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a pretty important siege, where again the aim is to do damage rather than win. So, cheers, everyone. <laughs>